Hello, this is the Provoke Brawn, here to tell you how to connect NZXT's RGB fans to your system in the easiest way possible. NZXT has a number of RGB fans, including the Core and Duo fans, and no doubt more in future, but currently the wiring logic is basically the same for both of them. I've done a guide previously on these fans separately, but I want to show you the easiest way to do it, because that one was a bit complicated for people. So I want to make this really straightforward and show you the easiest possible solution no matter what NZXT RGB fans you're using, whether it's the duos or the cores, as long as they follow the same logic where those fans have two cables coming out of them. Now, if you buy a triple pack of 120 millimeter or a dual pack of 140 millimeter, then you get a RGB controller, which I'll talk to you about in a second. But as standard, the fan has two cables coming out of it, a RGB cable and a fan power cable. These require two different connections on your motherboard or with a controller, and that's the important point. Get the controller, I'll link to it in the description, that then connect to your motherboard and allow you to control the RGB lighting and the fan speed. The usual setup for most RGB fans is that with your motherboard, you would look for a five volt RGB head on your motherboard, which has three pins on it in various different positions around the motherboard, and you'd then plug your RGB cable into that do not try and plug your NZXT cable into that. This will not work. And most motherboards do not have the right connector. So don't try and use this one. That's my biggest clue to you. Don't do that. The NZXT connector is designed for NZXT motherboards specifically. So if you happen to have one of those, well done you. But otherwise, you won't be able to connect the fan directly to the motherboard. So don't try. Now, the logic with NZXT motherboards is there's a specific connector for the RGB one. So you can see NZXT RGB one is the clear marking on that. It's a four pin connector and it's designed specifically for these fans. So you take the RGB connector for the fan and plug it into that. And then you take the fan power one and plug it into a system fan header on the motherboard. And that's how you connect a single fan. Obviously you're gonna to want to connect more fans than that. So I'm gonna show you how to do that in a really simple way. Now with the triple pack or the twin pack, you have the RGB controller included as standard, which can take the RGB connection for three fans. So three fans can be plugged into it and then controlled via NZXT's CAM software. You plug your fans in, just the RGB, not fan power notes, that makes it a bit more complicated. And then you plug in the USB cable from that controller to your motherboard. Now, obviously, this only powers three fans for the RGB lighting. So if you have multiples of these, you're going to need multiple USB headers on your motherboard or a controller, which is a separate consideration, and things get a little bit more complicated. So you can soon fill up these ports, especially if you've got multiple RGB fans in your case. The other connector is the SATA power connector, which is the same one which controls SSDs, and hard disk drives that comes from your power supply unit and that connects up to the RGB controller as well. And obviously you'll need multiple cables for multiple controllers. So it's worth bearing that mind as well. So you can see how complicated this is if you have, let's say 10 fans in your case. So the easiest solution for NZXT fans is instead to get NZXT's fan controller. This enables you to control the RGB lighting for six fans and the power for nine fans. So you can see this thing has multiple ports on it that you can connect your fans up to. You can use fan splitters. So you can see this triple fan splitter, for example, on each of the fan power ports, which means that you can power up to nine fans. So the just the power, not the RGB, by connecting those up to ports one, two, and three on here with splitters on each of those ports. And that takes the place of plugging them into the system fan headers on your motherboard. So this makes life a lot easier. It keeps the cables away from the front and it also makes powering the fans much more simple than having to worry about motherboard connections. Then you plug in the RGB connectors from each of the fans. And again, you can have up to six fans on here. And that's the most straightforward solution. This in turn needs SATA power and again a USB connection to your motherboard. And if you're running low on USB connections, because let's say you have other devices in there, not to worry, just get this NZXT USB hub. This takes a single connector and then allows you to connect up four USB connections to it. Now it's a powered hub, which means it needs to be separately powered, but you can plug in the NZXT fan controllers, let's say two of them if you needed to, and other things, maybe an AIO pump or whatever else you'll plug into it. You can plug all those things in and then just simply connect this to the motherboard and then to your power supply unit. And then that solves that headache. 
So it's essentially a couple of extra things you'd have to buy to go along with your NZXT fans. But this will streamline the process, make it much easier to set up and far easier to manage all the cables. And then you'll also have a much easier time of it in getting the RGB lighting to work because you can then download and use NZXT's cam software and can control all the fans from there directly rather than having to use your motherboard software and messing about with the fan speeds and the BIOS or the fan RGB lighting through your motherboard software or whatever else you want to use and you end up with a really nice looking case. Hopefully this has given you some helpful insights into what to do. If it has, then consider subscribing for more and check out the playlist link down below where I give you more tips for building your gaming PC or getting more out of it. And let me know in the comments what you thought. Thanks very much for watching. Appreciate you. You've made it right to the end of the video, you brilliant legend you. If you've enjoyed it, click that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and drop me a comment down below if you've got any questions. If you really enjoyed it, consider joining the channel and see the benefits of doing so. Check out these other videos. You might well find them interesting or useful. And most importantly, have a great life.